You did well, Mouse. You saved me the trouble of slaying Malcaris. Now I shall be the next leader. You have come to the end of your journey. Fool! It's the fox! Kill Slager! Kill the slaver! Get the fox! Chase him! Kill the slaver! Effort, Cynthia. Up and at him, chaps! Give them blood and vinegar! Tom! You! All is too. Where is Slagar? He was too fast for us. We'll never beat him. He's too strong! Nonsense! If we stick together, we can become a mightier force than him. Come on! She'll be back soon. It's not like Constance to disappear like this for so long. She's a badger. She needs her solitude from time to time. All the same, it doesn't feel right. We'll probably wake in the morning to find her cooking a huge breakfast. Cornflower, we're in great trouble. Without Constance, we're in danger of an attack from Ironbeak. And there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Fred, 
Friends, I don't know if it's night or morning or afternoon, but I do know that this is a great day. Hooray! As of this moment, you're all free creatures. <laughs> come one, come all, to Red Wall. Red Wall! You will never defeat me. Terrific work, General. They'll wake up to the nightmare of their lives. I thought you should be the first to know. I have taken command of Red Wall Abbey. Fathers are great warriors, Oma. They'll find a way. <gasps> Daddy! Alma, we must get the others to safety. It's all caving in. Where are the others? There are no others. No. No. A new day is dawning over Redwall. You have commanded us well, General, and fulfilled your vision. Truly, you are a great conqueror. <laughs> Sega will win in the end. If the Black Robes win, I will rule them. If Nadaz lives, I will slay him and say he betrayed Malkaris. If the Woodlanders are victorious, I'll kill Matthias and take his sword. In the end, Sega will win! I think 
the whole city just caved in. Our fathers are still down there. What you doing up there? Picking apples? <laughs> Where am I? He's alive! Hooray! <laughs> Sega will win! <laughs> you are now slaves of mighty General Iron Beak. I am his lordship's voice. He does not wish to speak to scum like you. All those silly little tricks you played. Who do you think you were dealing with? Let them all go. It was none of their doing. I alone am responsible for defying your leader. Take me. I am Iron Beak. I say who lives in oh. this earth crawler. You big bully! Leave our abbot alone! Stupid little earth crawler! You will be the first to die! You'll hurt Sissene! I kill! kill. Ah. Help me, you fool! Ah. 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 I'm sorry. I was wrong. You will be the first to die. Sorry I'm late. Some creature locked me up. yours again. We await your word. I'd say our first problem is <laughs> how to stop Strike flying round and round. Yeah! Strike! Fly now! Me fly! Me fly! She's making me dizzy. <laughs> An heroic warrior and a valley good tree climber, eh? What? <laughs> well done, Matthias. Well done yourself. Well done, all of us. Thank you. <laughs> Matameo, wait. Let him go. Be kind in victory, my son. Vich has no place amongst honest woodlanders. Reckless <laughs> little rat! Slega never misses! <laughs> Death to the slaver! No! Slaver will win. His 
days are ended. I swore to slay him. So did I. But this has saved us any argument. We have won, Orlando. Against all odds, we have won. We have not slain you, nor treated you badly. Now, we give you your freedom. We hope this will teach you a lesson. Every single creature's life is more valuable than anything your dead leader promised you. Uh, Absolutely. Absolute. Good words. When you hear the Abbey Bell's toll, fly as fast as your wings will carry you, and never again come to Redwall. On the twelfth ring, Strike will chase any bird that doesn't comply. I miss my family, Rolo. I hoped they'd be back by now. We stay up here till they come back. I'm sorry you won't stay here with us at the Abbey. This bird got to go home to Ulrak, Ulrak! Her mount N. Goodbye. Goodbye, Strike. Strike. Good luck. Watch for them bird bugs. Cornflower. You know the summer of the Golden Plain is drawing to an end. I was thinking of christening the new season. Autumn of the early chestnut. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, please don't, Father Abbot. I don't want to remember time passing. Not until Matthias and Matameo are back. Very well. But it is a full season since they left Redwall. Perhaps now is the time to be, well, realistic. They may not come home. Dust. What are you talking about, Constance? Dust. Look, over there. Dust! Good heavens, there is two. Ooh. Seems to be coming from the path. Some beast is coming. The question is, who? Home! It's them. Uh, it is, it's them. They're coming home. Look, there's our Tim and Tess. <laughs> <laughs> I see before me a wondrous sight. Warriors that were recently mere fledglings, and strangers that will soon be friends. You are welcome to Redwall Abbey, one and all. Father Rabbit, we've come home.
Seven seasons have passed since the autumn of the warrior's return, and this will be the second season that I, Tim Church Mouse, am the recorder, as was my father before me. The slaves who were freed from the evil Mulcaris have all settled here. The Spara colony is flourishing in the roof spaces, well now it is called Warbeak Loft. Sir Harry the Muse lives up there with them, and was elected leader and poetry instructor. Jube and the entire Stump family of hedgehogs are living and eating in the wine cellar with Ambrose Spike. Rolo and Cynthia are bell ringers, although I think Rolo wants to become a squirrel. Matameo and my sister Tess were married and now have a son. And Matthias, Basil and Orlando train our new defenders although we all hope we will never need them to protect our beloved and peaceful Red Wall Abbey. May your lives be as full and happy as ours, and may the seasons be kind to you and your friends. The door of our Abbey is always open to any traveler roaming the dusty path between the woodlands and the plains. So please, be sure to visit us if ever you are passing Red Wall. Thank you.